Ciao for me and welcome to another YouTube video and <clears throat> this video it's actually been a while since we did a full leg workout together so as you know now I've started my calorie deficit and obviously my energy is also decreased and um, but I still need to make sure that despite the reduction in calories to maintain at least what I've got and try to push a little bit more um, to preserve all my gains basically. That's what we can do when you're in a deficit. So before we get started, um, don't forget to like and subscribe and as always, I always remind you that if you wanna start one-to-one um, -one online coaching with me, I can provide you with a personalized workout plan and a meal plan and I can help you every single step of the way um, to help you achieve all your goals. Anyway, let's get started into, um, let's get started with our work actually. So the first thing I want you to bear in mind is this. This is a life saver for me for every single workout. I'm not um, particularly sponsoring this brand. I got it from Amazon. Um, all you need is a thick resistance band like this. You'll need this for your warm-ups. And honestly, for me, I said it in my previous videos, I haven't changed my warm-ups, it's still the same, but I have changed my workouts. Now, you need good hip and ankle mobility before doing your leg exercise. Do not skip this, honestly, because for skipping this, I um, got a hip impingement. Um, when you're lifting, you need to make sure you mobilize and prep your joints, okay? So, I'll just show you what I do. So, I always tie it up around any stable surface so that if I can pull it as further as far as I can basically I won't take the full thing with me starting with our normal dynamic stretches and mobility drills which gets the resistance so as you can see I'm positioning myself further away because I really need to feel this pulling okay if you don't feel the resistance, there is no point. So for my first exercise, I actually always start from my heaviest one, um, especially now that I've got less energy, so because of my deficit, of course. So. I always like to kind of pre-warm up um, by doing one set with a band, like you can see here, you don't have to do it, but I just like to kind of activate my glutes. I know that there is no scientific background about glute activation, but I like to do it anyway. Um, and then I place my lovely mats and pull the bar towards me and start doing cast glute bridges, which by the way guys, cast glute bridges are only half the way um, of the range of motion. You don't have to go all the way down and they're more glute focused. After that, I try to be as quickly as I can because it's a super set and I jump onto a single leg, feet elevated, um, hip thrust. Um, as you can see, they're very, very hard guys, these. So uh, make sure you balance your foot and take your time with them because even I was struggling with these. So much training has slightly changed because um, 
I was getting bored of doing the same thing so I kept hip thrust but I'm adding a superset I swapped my lifts and I also changed it a little bit because I've been I literally hip thrust three times a week so you have to imagine that yes I want a progressive overload and you have to keep doing the same exercise but at the same time imagine doing hip thrust three times a week um, for like I've been hip thrusting for years like probably like five years now so um, you can do uh, this is when you can do variations so one day for example you could do a different variation of it, um, hip thrust um, but I decided to add a superset which is what I was doing with the um, what's it called single leg um, hip thrust so I interchanged between cast glute bridges and hip thrust music acquired Um, so the last few reps I was actually giving up a little bit so I feel like I started really well initially with probably the first six seven reps and then I could literally feel my energy dropping and I'm not surprised so now I'm gonna do for my last set I'm going to dramatically drop the weight um, almost like a drop set. Okay. For my last set, because I really want to focus on getting a full range of motion for this um, set, um, trying to get at least 10 good reps with this, um, so that I, this rep this set sorry is actually for hypertrophy which means growth okay so we need to push it needs to be still a challenging weight it's not too light this is 135 so it's still I will say a moderate challenging weight So for me, yeah, obviously squats are still part of my training, by the way. So I do them now as my second exercise because they're not as heavy as my hip thrust. And again, I'll be doing a superset. So nice and easy, as you can see, I try to position my feet in a way that it feels comfortable to me. Um, I also started squatting barefoot, um, I mean on my socks, just because it allows me to have a better grip on the floor. I also rotate my legs slightly outward so that it, that prevents my knees from caving in and try to go as low as my hips allow me to um, as well. Don't forget to breathe and brace correctly for squats. So for this exercise, I'm gonna aim at going heavier for every single set. So I just added 10 on each side, which makes it 60 kg for now, which is still not heavy for me.
normally shouldn't really feel too heavy, but I can definitely, I can definitely tell the bed. My energy has literally been affected. This was moderate, and towards the last reps, I was actually struggling. So I think I'm just gonna increase for the third set just to 70 kg and I'm gonna keep it as my maximum weight really just because it's just starting to feel heavy okay so next exercise that is slightly different from what I well similar but different I usually used to do RDLs but now I interchange a bit with single leg RDLs, which is still RDLs, but obviously like unilateral exercise. It's just better to isolate each cheek at a time. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to do each leg, start light and then try to hopefully build up the weight. I'm now going to do an isolation exercise. I'm going to use a little ankle strap like this. And all I'm going to do is make sure I have two mats on the floor because otherwise you'll hurt your knees. Get kneeling down. And what you want to do, um, I just position my hands so that my elbow is down to the opposite leg that I'm going to be moving and then the other arm is slightly bent. So leg up, rotate it slightly downward and kick to the side. This is great for that upper Finishing off the session with the abduction machine, of course. Um, with this, I'm going to do three to four sets um, very quickly because it's the easiest uh, machine. I like to lean forward slightly and then go open as wide as I can. <laughs> So, just gonna properly end the session with some um, static stretches. Remember, static stretches like these, when you where you hold up in a position for 30 to 60 seconds, this should only be performed at the end of your workout, not at the beginning, okay? So, just very quickly, hold for 30 seconds on each leg. really feel the stretch. Anyway for me, yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Um, don't forget to like and I hope you enjoyed this workout and you found it useful and um, don't forget that if you want me to help you with your training and your meals as well on the nutrition side link in the description below but anyway I hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you next time with another video